So this is part two of my talk about urea plasma, and we talked about what it is. Um, as you well know, it's an opportunistic infection that may or may not have symptoms, especially if the body has a good immune system, uh, patients may not have any symptoms. But if it does overgrow or there is a weak immune system, it can cause problems. Some of the problems that can be experienced include urethritis, which is a burning sensation when you urinate. It can cause bacterial vaginosis. Rarely when a pregnant woman has it and they deliver, their baby can become infected coming through the vaginal canal. Now in a child, when the baby is infected before birth, it can cause preterm labor, premature rupture of membranes, very rarely stillbirth or fetal death in utero. Um, if a baby gets it and is infected, it can cause them to have um, pneumonia um, if they breathe it into their lungs, meningitis or brain injury. Um, it, it can also cause um, uh, breathing problems for the baby. How is de it detected? A simple swab or urine specimen can be tested um, for the DNA for it. Um, and also, how would you treat it? The best treatment is usually doxycycline. Because it does not have a cell wall, it tends to be resistant to penicillin. So the best treatment is doxycycline. And I do treat both partners if I s detect urea plasma in both, um, in, in one partner in, in a couple. Um, occasionally I may do a test of cure to make sure it doesn't come back because I find out if the couple do not properly take their antibiotics and complete the treatment, they may simply reinfect each other and then we have to deal with it all over again. So urea plasma, can be associated with infertility. When you're trying to get pregnant, we want to minimize all the things that can get in the way of you getting pregnant. So we usually screen for it. And I always tell my patients, usually it's nosy fertility the doctors that tend to look for it the most, um, mostly because it doesn't cause any symptoms in most patients. I hope that answers um, your questions about urea plasma.